So I'm in need of a new wallet. And I recently saw an advertisement on Instagram for something called the Ridge Wallet. So if you've been around for the last six years, you know what that is, but I had no idea. So I typed into Amazon Ridge Wallet and sure enough, it popped up $90. That's a lot of money. Amazon also recommended their Amazon version, which was $25. So I got both and that's what we're gonna check out today. If you're new here, my name is Jeff and this is Jeff Reviews For You. I review a whole lot of products. I specialize in reviewing as seen on TV items. Once in a while I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below. That way you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. One more thing, don't forget to check down the description for my social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Now, let's take a closer look at these two slim wallets, one by Ridge and one by Amazon recommended Rossum to see if they're any good. Here are the two wallets. This is the Ridge one and this is the Rossum. Rossum was recommended by Amazon when I typed in Ridge aluminum wallet. Now, this is made out of aluminum and this one right here is made out of carbon fiber. Ridge does have a carbon fiber model, but it was like twice the price and when I looked for it, um, it was not in stock and they didn't know when. So this one is very similar. So let's open it up. All right, there's some of our cool swag. I got a sticker. I do wanna see this wallet. That is very thin, much thinner than my current wallet. All right, so I, it looks like I have a screwdriver set to take it apart and maybe, I don't know, extra set of screws, let's see. Now let's open up the Rossum wallet to see what this one looks like. Instruction guide. All right, I've got very similar things in here. I don't want to get these things mixed up because I don't want to forget which one goes with what. Oh, this one's actually labeled. That's pretty cool. Can you see it there? So the screwdrivers look very similar. They were probably made in the same factory. So I have my strap that goes around it here. That's cool. So here's the actual carbon fiber wallet out of the plastic. And you can see it has the Rossum Logo on the top, it is very sweet looking. Oh, the strap's already connected here. All right, let's look at the comparison between the Ridge and the Rossum. They are about the same size and they look to be the same thickness as well. That's pretty cool. In my opinion, they sort of look like identical wallets, maybe even made in the same factory. Um, they have similar screw patterns. There's four on this side, three on that side. Very neat. I'm looking forward to testing these out. Before you pass any judgment, I want to show you my wallet. Now I do keep this in my front pocket as I don't think I'd be able to sit, but this is my typical wallet. And before you call me George Costanza from Seinfeld because he kept every receipt and everything, I have a lot of cards for like different stores, whether it's Advanced Auto or we have a gas station called Sheets. And so I keep them all in here. So what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna be using both of these wallets during the next week. And I'm gonna put 12 cards in this one, 12 cards in this one, and then I will be using them equally. A claim for both of these wallets is that they are RFID blocking. If you don't know what that is, it's if you have a credit card in your wallet, some people could potentially read through your wallet, get your credit card information and use it. Well, this phone recognizes the NFC tag and it's very similar to RFID. So watch, if I put this card past it, now this is just a card to a hotel room, but you saw how this phone immediately detected it. Now that's much different than a typical card like this card right here, when I swipe this card past, nothing's there. But we know that my um, hotel room card absolutely has the RFID chip in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the wallet, and we already knew it, it uh, made the uh, phone detect it. We're gonna run it over, front, and then we'll do back. So that one passed the first test. Now let's try the Rossum. All right, so we know that it's detecting by the phone. Let's put it in here into the wallet. There it goes. Let's swipe it down the front. Let's swipe it down the back. And they both did a great job of not being detected by the RFID reader.
So the claim to fame of these wallets is they can hold 12 cards. So right now I have 12 cards. I'm gonna try them in there equally. Now when I use it during the week, I'm not gonna keep 12 in. I'll probably keep six and six. And these are just generic cards. They're gift cards and store cards and such. And I even have some of the hotel cards and the cards that they these wallets came with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try all 12 in the Rossum and all 12 in the Ridge wallet. All right, well, all 12 fit, and you can tell it's about maybe three times the size that it used to be. My biggest thing about this is it really easy to get the card I want um, just by spinning it open. I guess if I know the color of the card, I can do that, but I guess if I flick through, I can see it. Anyway, it does fit all 12 cards. It's definitely a lot thicker than it was, but still thinner than my traditional wallet. Now let's try them in the Ridge wallet. Yeah, the Ridge wallet did a great job as well. Pushing the side here gives you access to the wallets. And of course, I should say on both of these style wallets, you can put cash in here or paper cards if you might have those. Anyway, so they both fit. So tell me, have you ever used one of these slim wallets, either the aluminum or the carbon fiber? What are your thoughts? Do you like them? Do you not like them? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Now, I'm going to try them out for the next two weeks to see what I think. As I've been using these two wallets, I have noticed some subtle differences. Let me see if I can get a zoom in here. You can almost see that this edge right here is beveled, which makes it more smooth than the Rossum. This is definitely a more blunt edge and being as blunt as it is, it's a little sharper and I felt my fingers hit against that. That's just something I wanted to notice. The Ridge wallet has rounded edges, whereas the Rossum has more of a straight sharp edge. Over the past two weeks, these wallets have held up pretty well. I did notice a scratch that happened right here on the Ridge wallet. Can you see that right there? Um, as far as the rest of it, it seems to have held up pretty well front and back, little scrapes and such here and there. Um, the Rossum wallet does have some scrapes, but it's hard to pick up on the camera. And I think it's due to the design here of the carbon fiber. You can see maybe some scratch lines up here. I will say the back clip here took a little bit of a damage there. I had them in the same pocket and so they rubbed up against each other. So in my opinion, both of these wallets over time will get pretty scraped up. I've only been using them for two weeks, but I say over time, they might be worse off. In this video, we were taking a look at two slim wallets, one by the Ridge Company and the other one by the Amazon recommended Rossum. And other than their very minimal differences, either in design or shape, they are pretty much the same wallet. So what did I think of it? Well, if you're looking for a slim wallet, these are both pretty sweet slim wallets. I mean, I could put this in my pocket and I barely even knew it was there as compared to my original wallet, which was much thicker. And sadly for me, that's where the pros end. So I'll tell you a little bit more about why. When I'm looking for a specific card, I'm in a store and I maybe want to use the gift card or whatnot, I end up having to take all 12 cards out to find the one that I'm looking for. And that's kind of frustrating. Whereas in a traditional wallet, I just look right through and there it is. Also, if you have any cards that have any raised lettering, well, they get stuck on either the wallet or another card, or it's just really frustrating. Sometimes you just have to jam it in there and that's a wear down point, at least in my opinion. I didn't really mind the money strap clip on the back here, but I still worried, is something gonna fall out? Am I gonna lose it? I don't know, that's just my thoughts. Anyway, if this is something that still interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for you. As always, thanks for stopping by and hope you have a great day. You can buy accessories for these wallets, either from the Ridge store or on Amazon if you wanted to get some generic ones. So here I have a money clip if you didn't like the um, strap here. So in a sense, what they do is you take it apart and hook them together and they actually hook into these screws. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one apart, put it together and just show you what it looks like. Remove all the screws. Now that I have the screws removed, I can take off this strap piece and set it aside. That's also how I could replace it. And this one really is just gonna go on here, same screw holes and everything just gets put right back together. So now I went from the strap to the clip. So let me just put those screws back in and I'll show you what it looks like. There you have it, in just about five minutes, you went from the strap to the clip. I will say the part up here, you had to, let me put some light on there. You had to put a little more pressure pushing this down to hold the metal in, but once it, got hooked in, it was pretty secure. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review where I took a look at the Ridge wall and I compared it to the Amazon recommended Rossum. And you're gonna have to decide if that 60 plus price difference is really worth 
the upgrade. You know what? During this review, I had my wallet in my pocket and it slid out. And if it wasn't for my gap guard, that thing would have fallen between my seat and the console. And that would have been frustrating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link the review for the gap guard right up here. And I would love it if you would check on this link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm going to join you at that review. So go ahead, click it. It's safe. I promise.